Triarchic Theory by Robert Sternberg, presented by Kathleen Mercury. My IQ is 132. I am awesome. But mine is 135. Why are you so mean? Mine is 137. Does that mean that I am smart? How can a number tell you smart you are? What was on that test? Anyway, you do not act very smart. Robert Sternberg would agree, or at least with how the number was generated. You see, he thought that the way intelligence was measured was wrong. From the early 1900s, researchers studying intelligence have focused on the G factor, the broad mental capacity that influences performance on cognitive ability measures. The focus on one aspect led to the idea of the IQ score. Robert Stenberg thought that intelligence, especially giftedness, was more than just doing well on tasks. Intelligence meant success in life. In fact, intelligence relies upon your ability to adapt to your environment, shaping it and adjusting as necessary. So Sternberg thought the focus of most IQ tests was wrong, and measured the wrong thing. So he came up with a new theory, the triarchic theory, that focuses on the abilities needed to be successful in life. Sternberg believes intelligence is more than just specific cognitive processes and the ability to acquire knowledge, but the contextual and experiential skills needed to succeed in life. The triarchic theory focuses on three specific types of ability that he believes make up intelligence. The analytical, the creative, and the practical sides of who we are. Analytical intelligence is the ability to analyze, critique, and evaluate. Creative intelligence is the ability to discover, invent, and create. Practical intelligence is the ability to apply, utilize, and implement. Of course, we all have the three types of abilities, analytical, creative, and practical. And research shows that when students are taught according to their ability, they outperform those who aren't. So see intelligence as more than just a number, but abilities that we all have and can use to succeed in life.